Bonjour YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I am Neuralex and this is going to be my reaction for episode 7 of One Division called <laughs> Breaking the Fourth Wall. If you are new to Neuralex Live, please subscribe. You can even click the bell to make sure you do not miss my next video. So guys, we all saw what happened last week in Westview. Vision tried to escape the hex, but it was killing him. And One Division made the hex bigger taking out the sword base and Dr. Lewis in the process. So basically, I'm not going to recap last week, but I'm going to tell you the questions I have going into the seventh episode. First, what is Director Hayward hiding? Who is Monica's contact she's about to meet? And who is really this Pietro? And if it's really Pietro, why does he look different? And why does he look like the X-Men Pietro? I'm not sure I'm ready for this one, to be honest. Breaking the fourth wall. Here we go. The energy inside has rewritten your cells on a molecular level twice. Why oh, yeah. That too. That too. People need help. It's not like your dead husband can die twice. And eventually not cause not you grief. Yeah, boy. Fudge! <laughs> I cannot wait to see what Darcy is gonna be inside the the hex. The hex. Don't forget the H, Alex. We've all been there, right? Letting our fear and anger get the best. Oh, it's like a reality documentary TV. Oh shit! Just resting her eyes. <laughs> As punishment for my reckless evening, I plan on taking a quarantine style staycation. Oh, she's still uh, in Halloween mode. <laughs> she looks like she's hanging over. Westview almond milk. Man, Wanda, you're losing control. <laughs> she smells it. It's probably just a case of the Mondays. Am I right? Am I right? Oh, man, it reminds me of... Uh... Guys, leave me in the comments what that sh is based on. Ah... Uh... I could. Wanda Vision. Okay. Created by Wanda Maximoff. <laughs> oh shit! Look at that. What's happening with the broadcast? Dead air. The signal's gone. The signal's gone. Vision. Oh, you're okay. You're the new clown? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Darcy! You don't remember me from last night? Oh. Not unspoken understanding. Um, hard pass. Hard pass. Okay, bye. Last night, Uncle P said that thing about re-killing Dad. Don't believe anything that man said. He is not your uncle. He's not your uncle. You were counting on me to have all the answers, right? <laughs> well, I don't. No answers. <laughs> I zip, zero, zip. Uh. Everything is meaningless. Meaningless? Not just where I'm at. <laughs> One, two, <laughs> Hi, Agnes. Come on in. Hey, Agnes. I think I got there in the nick of time. Cause she was one split end away from cutting her own bangs. Ooh. Why don't we give your mom some me time? Let's go, guys. We Let's... have to, mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take care of I promise I won't bite. Mm. I actually did yeah. bite a kid once. <laughs> <laughs> you. Finally alone at home. Mm -hmm. 
Boo. All right. Fine. I'm fine. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> e e e e e. Hayward wasn't decommissioning Vision. He was trying to bring him back online. Nothing worked until Wanda stole Vision's body. Hayward wants this sentient weapon back. Oh. No there they are. There they are. Oh my God! I want to know. Who's that engineer? Let's go. Major Goodner, Captain Rambo. This is Agent Wu. Major Goodner. My mother would appreciate your loyalty. She's not the only one we're loyal to, Captain. Let me show you what we brought you. Wait, I thought it was going to be a big reveal. Oh, is that the reveal? Did we get your specs right? She's perfect. So is that the vehicle she was talking about earlier, in, like two episodes ago, that she could go in the hex with? Theoretically. You were part of a team monitoring a supernatural anomaly, and now, well, you're in it. Fine, I'll go out with you, but I'm ordering the lobster. <laughs> Yeah. About time, Vision. Part of me secretly wanted a guest spot on the show, but seriously, that sucked. Look, uh, <laughs> what is your name? Doctor Lewis, I have questions. I have answers. Uh, oh, should we take this convo on the road? Excellent. Excellent. She's not going anywhere. Are my children safe? That I don't know. And who is that imposter, Pietro? Beats me. Sorry, can't hear you. Drive! Wanda! This is getting worse. Oh, that again? <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. Why it's all falling apart and why I can't fix it. Because you're falling apart? I think maybe this is what you deserve. Oh. You're not supposed to talk. <laughs> Do you just want to be left alone? Oh boy. A unique antidepressant that works to anchor you back to your reality. Nexus? Feeling your feelings, confronting your truth, seizing your destiny, and possibly more depression. You should not uh, uh, take it. Because the world doesn't revolve around you. Oh. Or does it? Or does it? Wow. Wow. I like it here. It's because it's quiet. You're quiet, Agnes. On the inside. What? Your mom can do anything. She's super mom. <laughs> yeah. You try telling a 10-year-old that his mother is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> I like the space suit, though. It's our most heavily armored space rover. She's going to sail right through, unharmed. Will she? Moving out. Moving out. Let's go. E, 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 e. Five, two, one. Oh, shit. It's not passing. What happened to sailing right through? The density is matching her. I'm close! It's gonna get! Monica! Oh! Uh, being rewritten. Monica, get out of there! Get out! Oh my god. This is not good. Oh! Oh shit, denied. I can get through. Monica! Oh boy. <laughs> Look at her eyes. 
Oh my god, she made it. Oh, that's it. She's Photon now or whatever. Oh boy, Monica. All right, that was intense. So, Wanda killed me? Yes. Until the bad guy rewound time and killed you himself. I came back and died again. And she had to watch. Oh boy, yeah. Another red light? Huh, overkill out in the sticks here, don't you think? Or maybe uh, somebody doesn't want you to get to your destination. Wanda is creating these impediments to stop me returning home. <laughs> <laughs> I like casual vision talking to the camera. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> I'm not amused. I'm not amused. <laughs> My original code dates back to an AI called Jarvis. Yeah. But my corporal form of Ultron's plan for global genocide. Correct, though. What am I now? Good question. I've been watching WandaVision for the past week, and the love you two have is real. Oh, Darcy. You belong together. Yeah. It's true, Wanda and Vision are legit one of my favorite couple on TV or movies. Wanda? Get out of my house. Hayward was trying to bring him. Don't talk to me about that. All you do is lie. Oh, boy. Superhero pose. Oh, boy. Careful. Do it better. Zizi, that's where you and Hayward differ. He's gonna burn Westview to the ground just to get what he wants. Don't let him make you the villain. Yeah. Maybe I already am. Oh. <sighs> I'm dead. I lost the person closest to me, too. I can't undo it. I, I can't control this pain anymore, and I don't think I want to. Because it's my truth. I think you overstayed your welcome. Agnes? Run along, dear. You have to take it down. No. Don't make me hurt you. All right. Oh, my God. And why is Agnes interfering? Like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Agnes is way too suspicious now. I don't trust anybody in that show anymore. Kids? What's next? Puppies? Or ducks? What am I doing here? Sitting, talking to you. I need to get more wife. <laughs> oh yeah, vision. Just. Oh, well, just meet you there then. <laughs> okay, Agnes. Um. Right back with that. What's the deal with you now? Where are the twins? Playing in the basement. Oh shit, I don't like. Oh no, 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 no. Boys? Oh my god, where are the kids? And now it's gonna turn into a horror movie. <laughs> oh. Okay. You didn't think you were the only magical girl in town, did you? Here we go. The name's Agatha Harkness. Lovely to finally meet you, dear. Who's been messing up everything? It's been Agatha all along. <laughs> Oh, that makes sense. That's why Herb was like this. And she made Pietro? And I killed Sparky, too. Oh! <laughs> and she killed Sparky, too. All right. Do I need to say more? 
It was Agatha <laughs> all along. Wow. They really played us. So apparently there was a after credit scene, which I checked, but I checked at the end of the credits and it was in the middle. So thanks to my guys on Discord for telling me. So let's just check it out. Here we go. Is that Agnes' house or... Snooper's gonna snip. What was that? What was that? It looked like purple, almost like vibranium. But it wasn't that like, it's like roots. And Pietro was there. So she's Agatha Harkness. Like, sorry for all the big Marvel fans here. Like, I've never read any actual comic book with that character. I know she's a witch from the Marvel Universe, and that's all I know. But yeah. So it makes a lot of sense that, like, Pietro was fake. And, like, Agnes was always arriving at the right moment with the right things. Because she was doing and everything. The, the only thing that fooled me... Is that scene with Herb, with Vision, when he's asking them, what's going on, what's going on here? And then she's about to answer, uh, and she goes, ah, that macrame is going to sit itself. And then she leaves and everything, gling, gling. Uh, <laughs> it's that scene, because before, like, like basically, like, I didn't, I don't trust nobody in that show, except maybe Vision, Darcy. No, I trust some people. But <laughs> what I mean is I don't trust anything in that show. And now that whole scene, because I had my my suspicions about Agnes, but that whole scene with her in the third episode was just always, always coming back to that. Like, even though she could have faked it last week in the car and everything, I was just like, I was always coming back to that scene. Because like, oh, yeah, she looks trapped. And then she looked at her. She's like, no, no, don't say anything. So I was just like, oh, maybe she knows something bad, but she she knows that if Vision learns about it, and maybe that's the death. And the scene last week when she's like, Vision, you're the you're an Avenger, you're here to save us. But like she was faking the whole thing. She was faking the whole thing. I have to admit, I am very disappointed that the contact, I don't remember the name of the corporal, whatever that was. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to know that woman, but I don't. They've been teasing that Monica's contact was such a big thing. Like, I was expecting, like, a bunch of you. Like, an X-Man, maybe Reed Richards or Sue Storm or, like, I don't know. Like, somebody big. Big reveal. But maybe that's a misdirection in the sense that they're telling us there's going to be somebody and there's nobody. But there's going to be somebody eventually. Whatever. Whatever. If they teased us, it worked, cause, but now I'm disappointed that it wasn't somebody we know. Monica is transformed now. She's going into full uh, photon mode, which is great, because she's badass. She's super boss, so I'm, I'm guessing she could, you know, she'll make a badass superhero. You know, just when she do, did the pause or she started running earlier, like she's a bit bulky, like she looks like physical. I like it. So Vision knows the truth that he died and he come he came back somehow somehow. And Darcy told him everything. I really like that she told him like I've been watching One Division for a week now and you, you, the love you guys have it's real. That's true. The love they have is real. Is that what's going to save Wonder at the end or cause our demise? <sighs> Good questions. Good questions. Anyway, that was my reaction for episode 7 of WandaVision. Please tell me what you thought about it. Please tell me what you thought about it in the comments below. Give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if it's your first time around here. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Check out my Patreon. Check out my Discord. And check out my merch. Thank you again for watching this. I am Neuralex. Until we meet each other again, guys. Stay safe.